Hello guys, today I'm showing you which mods I'm using on my current Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough. First of all, I'm using the Frosty Mod Manager for this playthrough. And as you can see, I have a lot of mods installed. Don't worry, I will list all of them in the description down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I also wanted to say thank you for all your lovely comments and messages for my uh, Dragon Age Inquisition character, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, I really appreciate those uh, comments. Um, it makes me happy and I just wanted to share the mods with you and I also uploaded a video how I created Elizabeth. I also will... Uh, list uh, the link in the description down below so I'd say let's get started with the character mods this mod is called Andrew hairstyles for dye there are lots of uh, different hairstyles this one uh, especially is called Brenda and they're absolutely beautiful all of these hairstyles are unique and Gorgeous. I love them, especially this one because it fits my character. I'm also using a mod called Harry Texture. It just makes the hair look more realistic and yeah, that's for the hair. The next mod is called Elongated Lashes. It's a mod where the lashes are more detailed and you can choose from different styles like longer, shorter, thicker, thinner. It's pretty cool and makes the eyes look more open and alive I'd say. This mod is called SOS Brows and Fleek and has to be one of my favorites. It's super cool and it has a lot of different shapes for the eyebrows. So yeah, that's it. I also have a mod called Improved Makeup for All which replaces the default makeup with a uh, better looking you can choose from different styles as well yeah and I guess that's all for her face and hair this one is one of my favorite outfit armor mods it's called Chandra Crusader armor set you can choose from different colors it's pretty beautiful you can use it as your PG's uh, at Skyhold or you can replace your armor with it and yeah if you want to have the beautiful white dress Lizzie is wearing at the Winter Palace you have to get two mods first Inquisitor's Closet and the second one is the retexture for the dress because in Inquisitor's Closet you can choose from many different dresses if you want to wear the white dress at the Winter Palace, install the mod Trespasser Skyhold PJ Replacer, so the PJ from Skyhold replaces the armor at the Winter Palace. The following two mods are called Spring in Theaters and Morning Dew, and they are also one of my favorites because the world of theaters gets more bloomy and you can see all the flowers and it looks like spring and morning dew makes such a perfect light and yeah I think there's also uh, a new uh, season overhaul it's the winter winter uh, in theaters I might check that out as well but I uh, yeah recommend using these two um, together I'm also using mods for Colin, Sarah, Vivienne and Josephine. For Colin I'm using the tousle here and the armor retexture and recolor. For Sarah I'm using a face retexture and a different hairstyle. For Josephine I'm using a different outfit I guess it is it's, or it's a retexture and a recolor and for Vivienne I'm uh, gave her a super cute hairstyle. I also will list those mods in the description down below. Yeah, that's pretty it. That's uh, most of the mods I'm using that are 
seen in this uh, in my gameplay. And if you want to follow my character uh, story, just follow me on Tumblr. There's some gifs I made, and yeah, that's pretty it, I'd say. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just comment down below or message me on Tumblr. I will link my blog in the description as well. Thank you. Bye.